In a somber courtroom scene, Orlando Mitchell, 33, made his initial appearance in court on Tuesday, facing charges related to the shooting death of 32-year-old Crystal Walton outside the charity childcare on the near west side of Indianapolis. Mitchell was pushed into the courtroom in a wheelchair, recovering from injuries sustained during his arrest. The tragic incident occurred on the morning of September 16, when Walton had just dropped off her children at the daycare. Witnesses, including children, reported that Mitchell approached Walton in the parking lot and shot her around 7.30 a.m. Police responded swiftly, arresting Mitchell just a few hours after the shooting, during which he was also wounded by law enforcement. Mitchell has been charged with murder, but the case also involves a history of domestic abuse and threats against Walton. He is also facing charges of invasion of privacy and unlawful possession of a firearm by a domestic batterer. According to court documents, Mitchell's mother had warned law enforcement that her son had threatened to kill Walton in a murder-suicide scenario, revealing the extent of the tensions between the two. She claimed that Mitchell had told her, if he couldn't see his son, she wasn't going to be in his life either. Further investigations led police to Mitchell's vehicle, matching the description provided by his mother. A community tip identified the car near 10th and North Delaware Streets, with the tipster reporting that a man matching Mitchell's description had confessed to killing his girlfriend. Confronted by police, Mitchell was armed with a rifle, and an encounter ensued that resulted in Mitchell's shooting by officers. Court documents detail a chilling statement captured on an officer's body camera, with Mitchell reportedly saying, I shot that BH, and later stating, I shot that BH in the face, as he was being attended to by M's personnel. The investigation uncovered two firearms in Mitchell's possession. Mitchell's troubled history is also under scrutiny, as he faced previous charges of domestic battery. An arrest warrant had been issued before the shooting due to his violation of a no-contact order and threats against Walton. Previous incidents included a March 2021 case where Mitchell assaulted Walton, who was pregnant at the time, resulting in a guilty plea to domestic battery. Mitchell's jury trial is scheduled for December 5th, where the court will determine the outcome of these grave charges. The case highlights the tragic consequences of domestic abuse and the urgent need to address such issues within communities.